Now, government says it is keen on creating over 1 million jobs through the Youth Start Support Programme, which is currently being piloted with a capital injection of 10 billion cities. According to the National Entrepreneurship and Innovation Programme, plans are underway to equip young entrepreneurs to start small businesses. My colleague Pius Kojobaka has more in this report. According to the National Entrepreneurship and Innovation Programme, government will in the coming days be rolling out interventions aimed at stimulating growth in the small and medium scale enterprises sector. Chief Executive Officer of the NEIP, Kofi Ufosu in Kansa, called on SMEs in the country to take advantage of the various programmes to grow their businesses. He spoke to Joy Business on the sidelines of the launch of the Startups and SMEs Week. The support is even providing through programs like the Ghana Cares Youth and Innovative Agri Program to focus on agriculture and agri business sector. Youth Start, which is our flagship entrepreneurship support program for the youth, 10 billion package, which is expected to stimulate the private sector to create about 1 million jobs in the next three years. And this is going to be done in three models the commercial model, in partnership with the Universal Banks, the digital entrepreneurship model, which will be implemented by the NEIP and Ghana Enterprise Agency. And then the face based organization one, which is a youth that creates. Outside this, uh, agencies like the Ghana Enterprise Agency are rolling out a lot of entrepreneurship support programs, like the COVID 19 grant program under the Ghana Economic Transformation Program, which is supposed to provide grant support for growth stage SMEs to enable them grow and expand their businesses. On a part, Deputy Minister of Trade and Industry in charge of SMEs, Nana Amadukwe Aisiyama EJ, said her outfit is ready to support and empower SMEs, leverage on the various opportunities available to them. It is against this backdrop that the government, under the leadership of His Excellency Nana Dutankwe Pufado, has put in place strategic measures to ensure that, one, a hundred Ghanaian companies are supported with various forms of assistance to export under the AFCFTA to the rest of Africa, duty-free, quota-free. The implementation of the program is being coordinated by the newly established National AFCFTA Coordination Office here in Accra. The ministry will continue to engage with the business operators on issues relating to the export of goods under the AFTA protocol. Two. The teaming youth, who are over 60% of our population, are better educated and equipped for the job market. The Ghana Startup SMEs Week, which is under the theme Innovation, Collaborate and Invest for Greater Impact, will go on till November 2022.